Are we live? Hi. We're live. Hi. Welcome to the show. Hey. So, so, so first things first. Um, I'm the realist. Um, can you can you see us? Can you see us? Can you hear us? Can oh, us yeah. see you? Oh my Great. God. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? First time for everything. Mitch, you're gorgeous. That's sweet. You're gorgeous. Oh, this is really great. Oh, we, yes. we see positive. We love feedback. positivity. This is really great. Yeah. Because, you know, these things don't always we go don't well. Know. Know. Okay. Well, we are doing a lot right now. Yeah. What are, what are we doing? We're at Acapella Academy right now, having yes. a really, really good time with some amazingly talented people. Yes. Yeah, and they're the sweetest kids ever. Yes. We're just teaching some classes, taking some yeah. selfies. Gonna do some singing, gonna eat some, some Chipotle. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. A girl from New Zealand gave me some Tim Tams. Oh. Hey! hey. I'm gonna go grab this. We you actually oh. don't bring them here. Um, There's some pineapple, chocolate covered pineapple things. Oh, what? Y'all should go try those right now. <laughs> okay. hey. Hey. Tim Tam. I'll, or, oh, I'll, so have, I'll, I'll have them for Tim. dinner. I'll have them for dinner. That's our undercover brand deal. Yeah, there it is. Pineapple Pineapple Hey! I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Pineapple. Listen, yes, the texture is the best I love part. pineapple. Right. You guys. This is it good? We are in L.A., and we are never in L.A. for an extended period of time, so we have been sleeping on normal schedules, kind of. Well, not obviously. I have not been in schedule. As you can tell, <laughs> look at these buddies. <laughs> but, we, um, but we've also been in the studio every day working with producers on this original album. We are knocking things out. Yeah. We've, like, been getting a song done a day while we've been home, mm -hmm. which is great. So expect it probably not that soon. Tomorrow. Sooner than <laughs> Surprise. Later. Just kidding. No, don't spread that rumor. No, <laughs> don't spread that rumor. It's not coming out for a while, but it's going to be really good when it does because we love it. Awesome. I saw some comments. I'm so hungry. I know. Sorry. This is rude Sorry. to be Tim Tim's in front of you. Girl, go for it. Okay. Let's we're going to answer your questions here live. Uh, yeah, here are the questions. Uh, will you ever do a music video for On My Way Home? Whatever you do, don't say soon. Hi. Um, well, I, um, I mean, yeah, maybe. You know what? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good question. We love that song. Definitely. And we, and we plan on doing a video for it. I'm like squatting down right this now. This is like a Laffy Taffy experience. I know. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Oh, wait. At the top. Oh. Should answer the question. So wait. XL? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, never yeah. Mind. yeah. That's, 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 that's good. good. Sorry. I forgot. Oh, wait. That's not it. Well, that's not it. Yeah, go down. Here that's we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Pentacon? It's a convention that yes. us pentaholics yeah. are planning for 2016 so we can meet each other and have fun. Yes. So yes. Cool. No, I have heard of that. And I want to go to it. I just I, I just pen. followed the, the official Twitter. I think, oh, wait. No, I followed that on PTX official, but I'll follow it on my original. Yeah. It's really cool. I think yeah. it's really special that y'all would do that. It's really yeah. cool. It's really Especially because cool. you guys are all, all like so nice. Yeah. So it's going to be a really great time. Yeah, it's it cool is. that everybody's going to come from around the world to just... Do we know where it's going to be? Yet? Where is it? Oh, yeah, where Either is it? Texas or LA? Fun! I want to go home. Awesome. I don't know. What's your favorite place? Come to Pentagon. Where is it? Pentagon. 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 Oh, yeah. Great. Let's scroll down a little bit. I'll scroll down. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, who are the night owls oh. and early birds of the crew? Night owls and early birds. Night owl. Yeah. I am. You're an early bird. Yeah, I'm definitely an early bird. I only am a night owl when I need to be. Absolutely need to be. But besides that, when I'm making music, night owl. But normally an early bird. That's not pretty late. Yeah. I've been trying to be both lately. Same. I've been like, both? because I haven't seen my friends in a long time, so we've been like going out and hanging out. So oh, I had to bed at like three or four. And then I've been trying to get up and go to the gym Oof. at like eight. And I've, I've learned. Since. That that doesn't work. Because by day three, I was like oh, a no. zombie at the studio, and the whole time when? I was fast asleep. Really, I slept the whole time, and he Snapchat me. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it was because I was trying to do yeah. too much. So yeah, I am too. It's really hard to stay up late and then wake up earlier. It is, and you just feel. Yeah, just recently, um, I I went straight from uh oh. from Acapella Academy. Oh, for, sorry, from from Japan, and I took a cab from the airport straight to Acapella Academy. Oh. And uh, everyone stays up late and then wakes up really early to start. And so I've been doing that for like, oh my gosh, like it's been like two weeks straight now. So I, wow. this is so. happening. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like amazing. in Japan though, when we were in Asia, I was an early bird. Because I would go to bed at like yeah. 10 oh, yeah, the jet lag. and then yeah. I'd wake up at 6 and then That's I'd right. have a productive morning and work out and stuff. And yeah. then you feel amazing all day. And then I feel amazing all day, but it's but you, but it, I, yeah, I, I thought I would learn. From but that. I think it's also because like you want to like see all that, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, Absolutely. that's true. Yeah, it's true. Scott Noodlehoing, Scott Noodlehoing, Scott Noodlehoing. Uh, what type of <laughs> silliness would a fly on the wall here at one of your recording sessions? 
Oh my oh. gosh. Uh, yeah, they're really productive. We don't get silly. Yeah, we, yeah, we I do. Mean, we, we do sometimes, but I mean, but it's like definitely really silly. yeah. In arrangement sessions, when it's just the five of us, I feel like we get a little sillier. Yeah. And if we're working with like, because we've been working with this like high up intense Incredible. producer. Oh yeah, that's true. And I don't feel like we've ever no, really joked with him. No, not yet. really at all. Because <laughs> he takes the sessions very yeah. seriously, yeah. and I like that. It's inspiring. But in like a yeah. happy way, like you're happy to be there, and like you're happy to work, and happy to focus on this. Like, yeah. It's not like we're like sitting there like it's like we're enjoying what's going on so yeah, constantly working. that there's no reason to be distracting and be silly because we're having so much fun already yeah true loves it next next <laughs> if y'all are in the hunger games, games who would, would die, die first wow i would, would die first because i'm the weakest oh. you would die first mm -hmm. definitely um i i think, I think so. avi would win yeah i can see that I've, I I've, I've had a lot of experience in the wilderness. I think, yeah, I, 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 think, I, think I think that's really like I mean I'm not gonna be like I'm <laughs> stronger than everybody else, but I, I just have I think I just I have more. I see you winning too. Experience. I feel like if you were really into it, you'd be ruthless. You know. What I mean? Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is like Kevin's like, really? like an ox. He's like, like, like really strong, strong and like oh, and fast. Oh, Kevin's oh, fast so too. Do you guys remember how fast Kevin is? Oh, for yeah, Chicago, was like sprinting. I literally was like oh, trying to keep up with him, and it was like and it didn't. He wasn't like running hard, and he was like just. Like a gazelle. No, wait, no, wait guys. So I like to do interval running. I, I like to do that a lot. So I think that's one of the reasons I was just like going and I was just like thinking about my training and just like, you know. Slay. That's true. Yeah. I, don't you have run, good aim. I don't run very well, so I think I would die maybe. Yeah. I thought I'm competitive I enough fast. to where I would like be okay, but I can't run for long periods of time. Well, I just want to say that in third grade, I won the 100 meter dash. <laughs> that's pretty rock and roll. I so I'm pretty sure I would survive a pretty long time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Away. How blown away are you by the success of the my Evolution of Michael Jackson video? Blown away? Oh my goodness. It's crazy. Yeah. Just because we haven't put a video out in a while, and it's just cool to know that that yeah. happened after six, it was six, six yeah. months. Yeah, our channel has been dead. Sorry. Yeah, because we've been just working so hard on this album. So, you know, putting to, it together was a little difficult, but just to know that. Because, you know what, people don't know this, but we actually did the video in Tokyo. And we didn't have, remember, we didn't have a lot of time. Cause we were like, oh, yeah, we worked out in like a week. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh, when are we going to put this out? It's like, well, we want to put it out before you know the anniversary of Michael Jackson. So we thought, well, when are we going to do it? The only time we have to do it is in Tokyo. So you know that we <laughs> finished the arrangement and practiced it for a couple of days and then just did it. And yeah, it in was Tokyo nerve wracking. It's the yeah. most nervous I've ever been when recording it. Oh, yeah. so oh yeah, same. Near the end, my heart was beating so fast, I was like. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that's the most. That's the most that I practice for something in like a long time. Yeah, the I had part, to really practice. Part, yeah, the There's part where like cool. at the end. Or it's like, oh, oh, the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that one. Yeah. Really I'm like, oh my god, absolutely. I'm so nervous, <laughs> but it was cool. Yeah, yeah. And another thing that was really scary is Michael Jackson. You like don't touch Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? Right. Like, <laughs> he is like a legend. Yeah. And I even express like concern i was like i don't know if people are gonna like it we don't really sound like him i don't want people to think we ruined his songs i was yeah. so nervous but right. the feedback has been really awesome generally yeah. Also, yeah. yeah so that's good mitch giving me so much face i'm living oh it's been unintentional <laughs> always on <laughs> how long does it go ahead. how long does it take for you guys to arrange your evolution songs i mean it really uh, depends because i feel like when we do evolution songs it's usually when we're on tour so like finding all the songs and then you know trying to put an outline together and then arranging it. I mean, it really depends. It takes a long time. It takes a while. Yeah, longer than. Because this one we started <laughs> last year. Remember, we yeah. had like ideas for it last year and yeah. then we didn't finally finish it until tour. And that and that's one of the things is that like some some we we don't ever get to spend like a full day on something. Like yeah. very rarely do we have a full day on something. So yeah. it's just kind of tough to get it done like really easily. Right, we'll have a couple hours, so we'll like have to get into the mindset and get productive, and then we have to stop um, pretty abruptly. Yeah. So there you go. There it is. What's the first thing you do when you get home from school? Oh my gosh, I will tell you immediately. Uh, I slept after Japan. Yeah. I didn't, and I didn't want to because I had all these things I wanted to do, but like my body was like, hey, Kev. <laughs> Literally, I always have a day where I like. I'm not doing anything today. Mm -mm. I'm going to watch TV and sleep and fall in and out of sleep. Oh my gosh. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. I, I usually do like two of those days and I haven't even had one. <laughs> I need <laughs> one. I need at least one. They're important. They are so, yeah, important. They are so After important. After a whole day, I'm like kind of bored. And then yeah. I'm like, wait, right. I want to go yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. We're inspired yeah. to work again. Yeah. But if you just keep going, whoa. 
The day we got yeah. from Japan, I was like, so energy. Really? Yeah, because you slept the whole time. Oh, I didn't kind sleep. Kind of, but I didn't really say it was like a very shallow sleep, but I went for it. And the next day, I felt terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I always jump in my bed. I grab my dog and I oh. move him to the bed with me, and I just cuddle him for a little bit. Yeah, man. Big dog, big baby. <laughs> big baby, no. Big baby. There, there you go. Where does Wyatt and Olaf go when you are on tour? Um, Wyatt goes to the breeder that I got him from. Oh, we have caretakers. We have caretakers. Nannies. Uh, but love our animals as much as we do. Caretakers. <laughs> we love <laughs> animals. <laughs> Which Game of Thrones character do you think the others in the group are? I don't. Well, I literally. <sighs> That's really um, tough. Uh, I'm Arya Stark. Me too. That's the only character I know. You have to. I don't yeah. know. Who would it be? If someone told me. He's dude. He's dope though. Um. Is okay. He's dope. Cool. Who would Kevin be? Okay, wait. Well, are are we the only ones that? No. Yeah, yeah we are. He's like. You are. No, that's the. I was. I'd like to just say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are the guy, are the guy the, with the giant axe. The, the one that's the guard for um the uh the Tyrells. Oh, okay, totally. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. He's cool. He, he's a big dude. Too. Okay, he's cool. a big dude. But I feel like we can also say that Kevin's really smart, so he can be like Tyrion. Because he's That's like true. Is but isn't Tyrion like the Tyrion. bad guy? No, 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 he's no. not. Oh, okay, not. gotcha. I don't, I don't want really to make any spoilers. Spoiler. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I would be Dumbledore. <laughs> Scott would be Dumbledore, and Mitch would be the baby dragon. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, would... you would be, um, okay, from the first season, the guy who was really big and had his hair, and he was dating the, um, the queen girl who was really small. Rob Stark. No, 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 no. Yeah. The drop door or no. no oh, Drogo? called Drogo. Called yeah. Yeah. Because then you look a little bit like him with the yeah. Hair I would say I would be mixed between him and Jon Snow. Okay. I, I like Jon Snow's character, like who okay. he is as a person. But I feel like he's I, looking I really more understand. like he's, probably, he's yeah. honorable. The other guy. Yeah, he's super honorable. I love honorable. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I really love honorable. <laughs> Next question. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Um, who is the most likely to get a speeding ticket? Bobby. No. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely yeah. me. I just got I was going to say, can really? I drive really? one really? I just go with it? Yeah. 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 Really? I feel like oh I, speed I, speed speed a I was going to ask. I speed a lot, but I get lucky. I didn't get lucky a long time ago. Oh no, I genuinely, when he pulled me over, I was like, honestly, thank you for pulling me over because I literally have been going so fast lately that like, and I've been caught, and I'm just like nonstop so fast all the time. I get really excited though when oh, in California man. because it's always so trafficy, there's open space. I'm always like, yeah! Yeah. Like, I get really excited. Whenever I see an opening, I take it. Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm yeah. waiting for three hours before that. Well, obviously, I'm going to go 150 miles an hour yeah. now that I there's know. open space. I always get scared though because like, so sometimes we'll just drive out from the same driveway and then he just. Whoosh, and I'm like, yeah, it'll, it'll be before me, and I'll get there before him. Every single I time, and I'm used like, to go fast. I'm so I used scared. to go fast. You're all mad. Really? I used to drive so fast. You One did. time, I was going like 70 in a 30 or something, and I got pulled over, and I got a really bad, That's kid, so funny. really bad one. And I used to drive fast, but I've been in probably 10 car wrecks. 99% of them were not really? my fault. Oh, but I've been country. in a lot of car wrecks, and so I have this intense anxiety in cars now. So I just drive a lot slower and I'm really yeah, sick. Have you and I always have to drive. Slowly. Like anytime, I drive really slow now and I don't like anyone else driving. I always have to be the driver. Yeah, I don't, I don't like anyone else driving either. Um, have you been in car wrecks even while you've been in this van? Yeah, I was just in a, I was in a lift two weeks ago and a car slammed into us. No way, yeah. I didn't know that. That's yeah, crazy. I have really bad luck in cars. That's are you I like, a, one are you like okay? Did you get hurt at all? Oh no, I was totally fine. Wow, that's, that's crazy. I know. Yeah, that's a bummer. I don't know why I didn't tweet about it. I was sort of like shaking up. Anyways, next question. Good question. Yeah, I like this. Let's get it on. It's probably one of the best and sometimes funniest parts of the show. How often have you been so close to laughing while performing? Oh, every single time. I'm always laughing. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Because every single chair girl acts so different. Yeah. Yeah, I always laugh. Yeah. One hundred percent. The Chicago, the Chicago show is definitely the hardest. The Chicago uh, night one, that was the oh, hardest man. I ever left because at the end we were like. Ah. The lady started just like taking off, like, oh my god, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll never forget. And I was Dina. like, Dina. 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 Rock and roll. She's, I yeah. never in our whole career have we seen anything like that. And so we were just like, that's incredible. I don't think I sang one note. <laughs> she kept going, just like, <laughs> exactly. Like, uh -huh. <gasps> it, was, it was insane. But yeah, man. Okay. Next question. Which do you prefer, touring or creating, recording new music? What? 
So sorry. It's really I, thick. I don't know. I travel a lot. I picked <laughs> up an accent on the way. That's great. Touring or creating <laughs> new music. Honestly, for Why me. Does... So what do you prefer, touring or creating slash recording new music? What I, to be honest, I love it. I think we all love it all. It's cool that we have such a varied lifestyle that we get mm -hmm. to tour for a little bit, and then you're like, okay, there, there comes a point in tour where it's like, you know what? I, I want to, yeah, I'm ready to kind of go back home. And then you go back home and you're energized by being in the studio again, and then you go back. And so I love that lifestyle. It's, it's really fun. Yeah, they balance yeah, each other out. And then you have all this new content. You're like, I can't wait to go on tour and yeah. sing it for everyone and meet the fans. Right. And yeah. then yeah. after months of touring, you're like, I can't wait to be home working on the music. Yeah. Yeah. Never. What was your favorite cartoon as a kid? Easy Beast Wars. Was about oh yeah, that yeah, was really great. Dude, Beast Wars was Beast the stuff. Wars? Yes. Yeah, it, it was. It was like it was Transformers. Yeah. But it was like the toys were really hard to keep. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I never true. played with the toys. I um, just did Sailor the Beast Wars. Things. Mm -hmm. I did watch. Oh, I did like. Pokemon. I watched a lot of <laughs> Simpsons. You know, okay, on Sunday night they had that lineup of Simpsons, uh, King of the Hill, and Futurama. You, your friends watched that. that? Uh, hey, you want to get your parents? Will, that's messed up, dude. <laughs> I didn't watch that. <laughs> went, yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, they wouldn't let me watch that. Yeah, I wanted to watch it. But I, I ended up being well, watching you the hill. But. You know, I'm about to cause some drama right now. But I was not into Rocket Power. I'm sorry. I, I really wasn't either. It was... I, I did, I did like Rocket Power. But that I, hurts. but I'm not angry with you. Yeah, oh, that's good. I don't yeah. know. Did anybody Rocket watch Power. Doug Funny? Yeah, Doug, Doug is Rocket Power. Doug was like a really popular. I really, I don't know if any of you guys know like Johnny Quest. Oh, you guys of ever, course. Uh, you guys ever like watched Johnny, Johnny Quest? Quest? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, wait, I, I really like Johnny Quest. Static Shock went off. Static Shock. Oh, I've never oh that. yeah, I never <laughs> watched that. Yeah. You're wow. a WB33. See, I was WB33 Cartoon Network. I had never watched Nickelodeon. I was just. Oh, just, oh. So I don't know what wait I was a second. Did any of you guys watch the Animaniacs? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I love oh, Nurse. I was all about it, dude. I like yeah. Wendy and the Cat Dog, and, 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 but it was too like dark. I love Johnny Hurts, the Cowardly Dog, were like two nice. I love it. No, 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 that one <laughs> like and also things. Rocco's Modern Life were the same to me, so I, I didn't, didn't like love it. Rocco. Was just, oh, yeah, Rocco was a little Because weird. they were a little like, dark and like, they had some really disgusting. Wait, yeah. Ren, yeah. Ren and Stimpy was weird. Well, no, exactly, same, same thing. Right. Same I, thing. When, when I watched it, I was like, oh, I shouldn't be watching this. Did you know Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Yes. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Pretty funny. Yeah. SpongeBob like took the cake for me, though. I love SpongeBob. Every show I could watch, but I would always want SpongeBob. It was always on. Oh, was Pokemon. Like, yeah. Oh, Pokemon was yeah. great. Um, next question. Was it weird having cameras follow you around uh, to film the On My Way Home documentary? It was great, by the way. I loved it. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks to all of you guys who bought it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, um, it, I mean, at first it was like, we were like giggly and like, oh my God, like, they're following us around. But at, like, we got used to it. Cause Maybe we, one day. Into it. Yeah, I know. We were really close with the, uh, the film crew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, I mean, our last for 2014, we had the same type of thing happen where we had a videographer with us, so we were kind of used to the process already. So I think that helped kind of prepare us for um, the On My Way Home Tour documentary. Yeah. Work. 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 What goodies did you bring back uh, from your Asian tour? Oh, yeah. Wow. Hi, fan gifts. So much wow. stuff. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. A fan got me um, chopsticks with my name engraved in Japanese on them. I have those too. So great. Like, that's Thank what you. a great gift. I got the awesome. awesome. and, and, and really amazing, like, paintings and really cool shirts. Sorry, not paintings, but like drawings and stuff. A giant picture. I got you Kata. Oh, yeah, I got a kimono. I need to wear that. <laughs> I have so many Japanese things. It's, just, like, it's still in the box. Sorry. I don't know what to do with it. I want to like, decorate my entire house with it. I know. I could decorate my entire house with all those things. Oh. They were like, I'm just going to tell I don't know where I put them. I want a place for all of them. And I'm just like, I don't know where. Yeah, we like ship them home in a bunch of boxes. And I don't know too. what I'm going to do with all of them. But they're all so cute and perfect. I know. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Next question. How do you balance your work life and personal life? I mean, I think it's just different for everybody, you know? It, yeah, it's a balance of like sometimes after work I'm like I like want to hang out with friends I want to see everyone but yeah. also making sure to rest so I'm not too tired for a tour I feel I like I, <laughs> yes. I like I just I just went home this weekend and I didn't really tell anyone I was going home because I just wanted to make sure I spent time with my family and then like chilled out and I yeah. actually like would stay up late with my family so I didn't really get rest anyway but like it's really hard to like go about and put so many things in your free time if you're going to be like overwhelmed and stressed out anyway right. because then that carries into your work so it's mm -hmm. a balance i feel like 
sometimes I'm so down to stay out and hang out with my friends all the time, but sometimes it's not. <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah, it's so tough because we work so much and it's really important to get rest, but when we're home, I really want to see my friends because they mean so much to me. So what I, we've ended up doing is just having little mini get-togethers at our house and it can be the most random oh, that's friends nice. that don't even know each other. That's cool. We, yeah. I like that. That's the other day, I don't know if y'all know <laughs> what Postmates is. Y'all. Oh, I heard of it. it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. You can get food. Well, they normally just did food deliveries. Yeah. But we, you can get anything delivered from any store now. So I literally typed in, "Can you get us a Wii U and Mario Kart 8?" And within the hour, they showed up on my door with it. Oh. Yeah. So what? They played Mario Kart 8 all night. Anything no. in the world. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Was, and it's, you can get, you can have like an iPhone charger Wait, delivered to like your groceries? house or anything like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Groceries. Yeah, and they'll travel oh. far too because I was at a laundry pizza place. I don't know if they'll do uh, that. Oh, they won't go do your laundry. But they'll like buy something for you and bring it to you. Yeah. Oh, and it's really you know, great. So if you like want it immediately, you don't have to order it like on Amazon and have it take a few days. Wow, so this is really great. Oh. That was like a commercial for Postmates. <laughs> but we love Postmates it. But I'm a stan. And they'll go anywhere. 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 Because I was worried you would just, you just type in though where you want to go in different yeah. directions. <laughs> How many, two more questions. What are your favorite Kelly Clarkson songs? Since you've been gone, Breakaway. <gasps> Moment like a this. moment like this. Hazel eyes. Oh, um, my Ooh. life would suck without you. Because, because of you. Because of you. Are we just naming all of them? Invincible. Invincible. Invincible is so good. There's a song that's kind of the entire Breakaway album. Let's be real. Yeah, but really. Um, there's a song I'm thinking about. But I don't Stronger is really good. Stronger is really good. Um, how have you all balanced creating a song that is radio playable without losing what makes you guys unique? What a great, what a great question. We've been yeah. talking about that all day. We yeah. talk about that every day. Um, it is a challenge. Yeah. It really is because, you know, we're trying to have a song that can play between Ariana Grande and, and Rihanna. The weekend, Rihanna or The Weeknd. Um, but I, I will say this. One thing that we talk about in Acapella Academy is that the cool thing about today's, I guess, music scene is that minimalism is somewhat in. With, you, know, you, you hear that with the Royals, you hear that with so many songs. And so I think that's something we're trying to play to our strength, that that, that minimalism can be cool. Um, it's also difficult because we want to introduce people to our sound, and we don't want to give them something that's very, like, stomp. I mean, we don't know. It, it will be stomp and clash. Will it be something that's very just five bar harmony? You know, it's hard, to, it's hard to say. Yeah, and there's so much. We have a lot of varied things in our album. We have, like, super, like, stomps and claps and belting and loud and noisy songs. And then we have, like, chill songs where you can like hear every individual part and it's very relaxed sounding and so figuring out what's going to be like our first single our first direction has been a conversation we've had a million times but we're leaning towards keeping it chill because it seems more authentic to us so who knows though tomorrow it could all change <laughs> work work absolutely uh you would do maybe uh one more song or one more song one more question one more question yeah. oh we started we a little late so we can go and some stuff done yeah that's cool home. Um, what moment on tour was most surreal for you, when Ooh, re right where you realized that this is actually your life now, and why was this moment significant? Manila, a lot of those. Yeah, I was Manila. Manila. Manila was just oh, unreal. I, I I couldn't even like. It felt like I like I was like in someone else's body. Like, yeah, like, you know what I mean. Like a dream. It was really crazy. Yeah. Like, like I remember as a kid dreaming of being on a stage in, in a stadium, like people being there before. Me, and it was just like a really weird feeling. Yeah. We all felt that, and we were like elated. We were performing at a hundred million percent, yeah. in the crowd all the way up to the very back, where on their feet with lights in their hands, jumping, they were so screaming, reactive. crying, it sweating, and they like reacted to every little moment. Our show just made so much sense because they were just like heightened it, mm -hmm. and oh my god, it was so fun. We were amped after that show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was unreal. Yeah, so that was. Well, there you go. How have your relationships between the five of you changed from seeing us to now? Is there a reason? What? Uh, relationships between us? <clears throat> I mean, I think, you we know. We're more of a family. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we've kind of learned that if we're going to do this full throttle, that we really need to be in sync and on, and on the same page with each other because this dynamic and this relationship is so important to making you know our wildest dreams come true i mean what we're trying to do is i mean we, we have broken so many barriers already which has been i mean that's all because of you guys we appreciate you guys so much but 
now we're trying to do the same thing again with, for example, radio. I'm trying to have like an original acapella album that could, you know, I guess appeal to many different types of people. So, you know, we realize just having that relationship and staying on the same page and, and really knowing each other and understanding each other is so important. It really is. That's tough. Cheers. That's what I said. Any advice on how to be comfortable with yourself? Be confident. Oh my gosh. Any advice? Question. It's tough. I it still struggle hard. with it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I would say just do what makes you the most happy. I feel like we're in this new like renaissance of people being okay with themselves and like it's great. Like, you know, not caring about what other people think and I think that's really important. Yeah, yeah don't let other people's opinions shape who you want to be or who yeah. you are. I think that's really important. And like what other people's perceptions of you are like if that's not who you are that's who you want to be like you need to like be you because you're going to be unhappy until you're actually staying true to yourself and doing what you believe is right it's yeah. so true and and surround your people who, who surround yourself with people that's who really do say. appreciate who you are as yeah. a person so yeah. you don't have to feel like you need to be better or you know or anything like that mm -hmm. because i mean everyone is so special and um everyone has something to offer and yeah yeah that's so true. I found that my confidence grew when I like surrounded myself with people that really believed in me and respected me. You yeah, know? Mm -hmm. same. And so, yeah. yeah. So I just found that really helped. Cool. Uh, one more question, and I think. Oh, okay. Here we go. What's your favorite arrangement you've done so far? Mm. Uh, Daft Punk. Daft Punk's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Evolution, of Evolution of music. Those days. Oh yeah. I really like um Carol the Bells. Mm. I, I, I really, I really like it. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, I like Aha uh -huh too. A lot of Latch is really great too. Yeah, I, I like, like singing a lot. I really like a lot of Latch. Like it's, I, I feel like it's one of those tracks that like we've really like kind of nailed the minimal thing. Like it's like it's just I don't know. I, I just like it a lot. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one worked out. That's great. We didn't have any interruptions. This is really yeah. great. That's I amazing. Like really the first time in a long time. But we love you guys. We can't wait to show you guys the material that we've been working on. It'll it'll come. Yeah. Not gonna say the words yet. There's some cool collabs too. Yeah. yeah. So absolutely. Thank you guys. We love y'all. Thank love you. See you. Bye. 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 Do this recast. And then pass the pageant. Bye. Bye.